Welcome to Wonderlane. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Families can get messy, but these are the 10 most dangerous families in the world. Number 10, the Ku Klux Klan family. Everyone knows the Ku Klux Klan. What hardly anyone knows is that there are still gatherings of the KKK. A group of Ku Klux Klan members gather regularly in the US state of West Virginia. They are planning what they see as an inevitable war of the races and prepare for it. They also hold ceremonies ceremonies at the Burning Cross. The Ku Klux Klan family is also among them. The two sons of the family, 111 and 114, have been members of the Klan from birth. Number 9. The Genovese Family Although the members of the Genovese family are not all related to each other, it is considered one of the most powerful mafia families in New York. It was founded at the end of the 19th century. Professional organizations, sophisticated power structures, and enormous financial resources. The security within the family is so extreme that many of the 250 members do not even know each other. The Genovese family also earns most of its money from online poker and speculation on the stock market. Number 8. The Sinaloa Cartel The Sinaloa Cartel is considered the largest and most sophisticated drug cartel in the north of Colombia. It was led by several drug lords, all of whom are related, so the drug cartel is in itself quite a family affair. It is considered one of the most violent criminal organizations of our time. It is active primarily in Mexico, but also in the US and even in parts of Australia. Number 7. The Rothschild Family This well-known family is the richest family that has ever existed on the planet. With assets totaling 350 billion euros, the members of the Rothschild family began to buy shares in all of the companies. Today, they are involved in the oil market, the free press, and in politics. Many conspiracy theories say that the Rothschilds have already caused wars, brought US presidents to power, and can easily determine the price of gold. It is estimated that the Rothschilds have such enormous power that they could feed and house almost every person in the world. Number 6. The Adams Family Although this English gangster family and the gangs associated with them are responsible for dozens of murders and robberies, and smuggling cocaine into Europe, leader Terry Adams is a free man. This is due in part to the fact that the Adams family rose to power by bribing police officers and judges. They are considered one of the most dangerous criminal movements in England. Number 5. The Kim Dynasty The Kim Dynasty has ruled the secluded kingdom of North Korea for several generations. This gives them control of the North Korean military and even some nuclear weapons. The nuclear bomb engineer Abdul Khan had given the Kim Dynasty the blueprints for nuclear weapons at the turn of the millennium. In addition to its military power, the Kim Dynasty also keeps the North Korean population under wraps. Hardly any North Koreans have ever been allowed to leave the country. Moreover, the Kims allow only a few hundred people into their North Korean empire. Number 4. The Morin Family Even if this family from Melbourne in Australia has died, they were considered for a long time to be one of the most criminal families in Australia and kept the local criminal scene under constant tension. The Morin family is also said to be involved in the Melbourne gang murders. Number 3. Ines Tarverdiva and her family. With this family, the word family affair gets a whole new meaning. Inessa Tarverdiva was sentenced for life in 2013. Gradually, it was found out that she was in over 30 murders. Her accomplices were always her husband and 13-year-old daughter. Among the victims were six police officers and her own niece, whose body was found with her eyes crushed. 
Number two, the Keenahan family. The Keenahan family is part of a gang war in Ireland. Within this criminal war, nearly 10 people are believed to have died since September 2015 alone. The gang war erupted when a member of the other gang sabotaged the drug supply of the Keenahan family. Although the rivals have paid for the damage with generous cash donations, the Keenahan family decided to take revenge. Number one, the Cardi family. You may not have heard of the Cardi family, but you have certainly heard of Osama Bin Laden. The Cardi family has had ties to Bin Laden and Al-Qaeda since the mid-1980s. The father of the family, Ahmed Cardi, even recruited his own sons to fight against the enemies. However, the father of the Ahmed Cardi family has died in the meantime. His survivors are now trying to lead a normal life in Canada. Like this video if you enjoyed it and leave a comment. Otherwise, check out our other videos and subscribe to Wonderlane for more. See you next time here at Wonderlane.